Last Welcome to our installment of Halo 3 Orbital Drop Shock Trooper. Yeah, so we or went ODST. straight from... Axios! Axios! We went straight from Halo 3 into ODST, so... If you guys are wondering the why this sudden jump... The year is 2552. Humanity is at war with an alien alliance known as the Covenant. Wait, wait, say it again with We're a very losing. high voice. Wait, I got it, I got it. The Covenant have burned our world, <laughs> killing billions in their genocidal campaign! <laughs> Earth is our last bastion! A carefully guarded secret! Earth? Earth is the secret? Not anymore! That's where we come from. A covenant carrier has breached the Earth's defenses and <coughs> has attacked the African megacity! New Bombasa! <laughs> you got it. You got it. Initial reports confirm major damage and heavy civilian casualties. Oh no! Now military leaders of the United Nations Space Command have prepared their response. Teams of highly trained orbital drop shot troopers are ready to assault right. the carrier. Now keep going, but Navy every ships last and low one orbit. you do. <laughs> keep going, but every last one you go high. This is a near suicidal mission. Oh, <laughs> he, from, he, he meant from deep. He meant from, from deep. He meant from deep. Deep to <laughs> and saving his new mod boss oh, will so be the most important Mike mission of the war. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Yeah. You like Derek Zoom and you're coughing? Yeah. No, but... I think I got the black loon pops. <laughs> okay, so real quick, I love this campaign, right. and we're going to make fun of it a lot, but Halo is known for being about the epic fucking robot people and fighting, and these are just a bunch of dudes in armor. They're just Marines, right? Yeah, I think my well, yeah, so soldiers. Yeah, that's, that's Romeo, and his name is Koju Agu. The guy uh, who has like a skull and crossbones on his chest is Dutch. He's a Christian man. Mickey is a coward, but he's a good pilot. <laughs> and then there's Nathan stuff. Fillion. <laughs> oh, all right. That's up. legitimately Nathan Fillion. That's straight up Nathan Fillion. But this is actually the game where I got my nickname Fossa. Is he codenamed Firefly? No, it's Buck. Aww. I'm pretty sure my testicles retracted back into my body. And that's Dare. He's also... <laughs> well, uh, do me a favor. Look up on your phone, because every there's like three people from Firefly in this game. Like I think Mickey, Dutch, and Buck are voiced by Firefly people. You'll know when you see it. Anyway, so Dutch, uh, he was actually on Reach, and if you know anything about Halo, Reach was insane. But, uh, yeah. My girlfriend's trying to feel my balls, and I'm telling her to wait. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, he said oh. it went back in his body. He was joking. <laughs> <laughs> they never go back in. They just kind of touch. I, no. no, no, no. They oh. do go back in sometimes. They touch? My, they touch once. My first girlfriend, like, this uh, is story. she kicked <laughs> one of, in high oh. school, she kicked one of my friends in the nuts so hard that her his testicle retracted back into his body. And the, the, the yeah. thing that grossed me out wasn't that it happened, but that he was like, Look at it! And he, like, pulled oh. his pants out a little, and I saw, like, a testicle lump in his lower abdomen, and I was like, Oh! oh. <laughs> I want to beat that bitch uh, All right, okay, okay. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to break right, up with you, so and then date so, you again for three so years anyway, in high school. So I'm anyway, playing, anyway, I am playing the new addition to the team. <laughs> they right. call me the rookie. All right. So, <laughs> good old spike grades. So, um, so by the going, way, going ah, with, the silenced SMG. Going with what Fossa said. The best weapon uh, to ever grace Halo. Dutch is played by Adam Baldwin, which was Jane in Firefly. Sweet. Um, Romeo is Nolan North. I fucking love this part. I fucking love this part. There's Nathan, as fucking cool. <laughs> uh, Fillion, and Trisha Helfer. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who she is. She doesn't look... All right, boys, shut your cases and yeah, shut your holes. Not look hey, Mickey, remember I told you to shut up? Yeah, you said that was standing order. <laughs> Look, 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 this is so fucking cool. Orbital drive. This is actually So, ODSTs my... are Marines that they specially train in high gravity to sit in a box that they launch in space. This is my favorite. the ground. This is my favorite Halo game. It's so cool. Towards the ground? No, we're just gonna hit the ground. That's... See, I. So it's just like. Yeah, no, they, it's a box they drop from space. You're, you are a meteor. But the reason is because you're able to fire them behind enemy lines. So people yeah. are like, oh, it's a meteor storm. They land and they're in like in enemy lines. Just like half Chief of them die. Like, ha ha! Yeah. It's... You mean like how Chief Look. landed himself? Oh, yeah, like Chief lands himself. It's, it's kind of like the opening to Bioshock Infinite, except after this part, the game isn't shitty. Fair enough. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of 
Oh, shit. I, it's still fun to play. No, no, no. Three, me. two, one. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, give me oh, oh, and I'm not, I'm not going to go into this tangent oh, fully. Oh, no, no, I would, no. I, I would yeah. rather keep it for a Cookies and Cream game review. Yeah, we're opening up like but a I, review playlist. But, uh, I'm looking at the wavelength for this episode. Oh, my God. Bi Bioshock <laughs> Infinite is... <laughs> Bioshock Infinite is not my favorite Bioshock. <laughs> yeah. It is not. So, if you guys, um, once you guys are seeing this, we're going to have a playlist open called Cookies and Cream Milking It. <laughs> That's gonna be Wait. as much as I hate that uh, name. Milking it. Milking it. Because cookies and cream. Mm. I know. That's it's called aesthetic. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the title of our reviews. We're gonna call yeah. it cookies so and cream milking it. You guys it. are gonna like reviews video games and like movies. And yeah, because like right now yep. we're gonna have like a, at the time this comes up, we're gonna have like a right now I'm trying not to review this Avengers, right now. Age Ultron. Like, really fucking want to review this. That'll be such a great fucking. By the time uh, you guys hear. Uh, later, we're also gonna do one of the House of Wolves DLC, which will be on um, You're a Monster. Eventually, I would like to do one of Bioshock as a series. Yeah. A retrospective. Rookie, yeah, as a retrospective, as an entire series. Rookie occupied city six hours after. Oh, wait, drop. no, no, say it in the voice. <laughs> the rookie. I've got the line. <laughs> <laughs> six hours after drop. So, just real quick, you think and I'm I, on the ground. Yeah. You will soon find out. And I think I'm we not could also do a retrospective of Halo as a series that Fossa can lead. Well, because this yeah, this yeah, is this is one of the games people think are really bad because it's not. You're not Master Chief. Look around the pod. So if you're wondering what's happening right now, this is during the events of Halo 2, I believe. And, uh... uh oh, we're really hanging up. Okay. <laughs> are, are I'm doing this. Okay? Sorry. Okay, so things are fine. I'm just checking. So, yeah. I was like, um, watching like this is like, during the events of Halo 2. Africa has been taken over by aliens. And what our goal was, was to land... Not aliens, no! <laughs> Andy, why are there so many aliens? <laughs> why couldn't you stop the Covenant, Andy? No, 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 <laughs> no worry, I'm going to talk to the aliens. Hey. You shouldn't do that, he looks awful mean, Andy! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take any breath. This is going to suck. Um, oh. but this is... This and Reach... Shit. This and Reach are my favorite Halo games. Wait for it. Which is, I guess... We're like 30 stories up. <laughs> Appar oh. Apparently odd, because I guess time to work for a living. Didn't oh like shit! ODST. Ow! Your stamina is low. No shit. Just yeah, we were that high. That's up. what they call your health. Yeah. Just broke <laughs> a leg. Ah, we're good. So I'm an ODST. I am not a Spartan. I am not a super enhanced soldier. I am a kid from Brooklyn who is tired of aliens fucking people. Wait, so Captain America. <laughs> just a kid kinda, from I'm just a kid from the Bronx. Except not enhanced. You're just. A dude. You're, you're Bucky. Shit. You're more like Nick Fury. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, oh, that's fair. And there's a brute. Okay. Yep. Your grenade throw this was fucking insane this game. No! <laughs> <laughs> Michael Vick chucking nades. Maybe that's why I never got as good good with grenades after ODST. Like this. So as, as you can see, this the brutes are way taller than me. This is just I'd like. Game was like a innately bitch. like a Halo hard mode. Huh? No, this was this is a more gritty, realistic take on what it to be like in the Halo universe. Was yeah, not, to not be Master door. Chief. This was the Halo game. I, I say gritty, realistic as, as confirmed. That I played as, uh, the most. It's okay. a great game. I, Everything is so slick and. I black love office. the visor mode. Like, but SMG looks all you know, custom spec opsed out. Right. Pistols with silence and everything. I have this cool visor mode where everything's really dark, but I can highlight mm -hmm. everything. The highlight doesn't oversaturate, really where it's like. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the darkness. Well, it's useful yeah. because you can see where <laughs> things are. To me, it was helpful. Like, I like this feature a lot because, like, I stayed in it actually a lot of the time because it just helped me highlight specific <laughs> things so I could actually tell where some objects are. Like, sometimes oh, yeah. when you have just, no, like, but, depth uh, of field and stuff, you're like, oh, I don't know how far that is from something else when the darkness is so light. So I'm like, oh, there's actually outside lines I can see where things are better, you know? And speaking of awful visual effects, go check out our playthrough of Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Batman plays Amazing Spider-Man. That's, Spider that's going to be probably my favorite series we do. It'll be fun doing that. Just so awful visuals. Oh, shit. And when that spider test comes, it, like, blares into your eyes. Yeah, but... Shit, shit. Also, yeah, everything. And I'm tired. Everything hits a lot harder. I am kind of tired that like every series is trying to give you like a sense, you know. I mean, with like Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. they kind of explain. Eagle, Eagle, Eagle vision. Eagle vision. Eagle. Like apparently, like, they the eyes of an eagle. <laughs> fly like an eagle to the sea. I wanna fly. Oh, I'm sorry, little dude. Let my spirit carry me. <laughs> I wanna fly like an eagle. I want my right. space jam now. Oh, we were talking about older, like, cartoons and stuff that we missed, Lynn. I really do like that movie. 
Uh, Space, Space Jam. Jam. You yeah, really yeah. like Space Jam? Yeah. It really happened. <laughs> it wasn't a, a dream. It wasn't a dream. I am not a big fan of Space Jam. Really? I mean, you hate most things like that. It was, it was, it is, it is definitely a pop culture, just, event. Yeah. It was Michael Jordan. But watching it tables. objectively, it's kind of awful. I think it was supposed to be a phone It was an shit. awful story, but. Like, I, I watched it again, actually, I think last year. Yeah. And I was yeah. just like, this is just. It was when we first started dating. Yeah, and I hadn't seen it. Probably since I was like eight or whenever it came out. Yeah. Eight or whenever it came out. You know, you know a young age. <laughs> like I don't remember what whenever. year it came out. So it's like when I was young. <clears throat> nineteen. Yes. And where you going? Where you going? Nineteen ninety something. Yeah. <laughs> and something something I, I watched it again last year, and I was just, oh, this movie is just. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. And our daughter sitting there like. This is magic! It's not yeah. bad, it's just for children. Who's Michael Jordan? Which I understand. No, but there are good kids' movies. <laughs> That's the sad part. Who's oh, no, Michael yeah, Jordan? Yeah. I'm like, girl, you don't know who Michael Jordan is? Okay, if it gives me a break, she's That's four. not Kobe. <laughs> you mean the shoes? That's not Kobe. Not the shoes. Oh, well, that was my you know, life. Michael Jordan is a basketball player, baseball player. I'm, I'm pretty sure player. if that movie. <laughs> yeah. If Space Hitler Jam mustache. came out today, it would be a direct to video movie. Oh wait, didn't they talk about doing a new one with LeBron James? Yes, they did. I was just about to say Which that. Which I'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah. They said they That's gonna be. As long as doesn't see where he actually has sex with Lola Bunny, and, I'm watching. And it's not that basketball isn't interesting, but I don't feel like exactly. basketball <laughs> is as relevant nowadays as it was in the '90s. Yeah, because basketball's still really important. No, it's still cool, but it's not. It's not as much of a big. Deal what do you think the biggest sport was? is? Just to what, me, it, basketball took over. I probably football. Say football. And, uh, it did back so, then. Not anymore. It space, <laughs> space really? jam with really? football. Yeah. I, don't know, I feel like basketball still is, is really is like the sport people. I think watch. basketball it's more is more exciting a, most of the time. I think basketball is definitely a better sport than football, and that I prefer to watch basketball over football. But when it comes to a general audience, it seems to me at least Lately, that yeah. football is a lot. I don't football hear anything more, about. Uh, basketball most of the year and I hear about football all year and I hate football. Well I think football <laughs> like, it can be it can be extremely exciting if it's the right game. Like you see some dude like yeah, like one out of twenty games. No, I no, it's it's one out of twenty games but like one out of twenty people are talking about it all the time. But most of the time uh-huh. No, like because but basketball is usually entertaining because like every game something crazy happens. Because half the time mm-hmm. it like seventy percent is like oh we know who's going to win. This person has yeah, a lead. It's just, they it's have just, a lead. This mm-hmm. is them shitting this on the team. <laughs> but then there's that one rare game where it's like neck and neck, and you're like, oh, oh, oh. The pass is, get the goal, get the goal. Yeah. I'm, that, get I'm, titties. I'm that weird titties. person that likes watching tennis. Yeah, you are weird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll watch you. It's between two people. To me, that's more interesting. It's I mean, easier to keep focus on the, the action. Sisters. That's fair. Yeah, that's it's not fair, fair because their ass take their ass counts as another racket for like. Okay, and that's all. I'm <laughs> just bow, 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 no, bow. There's, there's no bow in a Serena Williams game. It's just. What's <laughs> 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 your man shot? <laughs> what? Would, would, you, <laughs> would, would you want okay, to be yes, hit by Serena Williams? Would you want to take a right hook from Serena Williams? Fuck that! I'd be dead. She's been throwing right hooks since she was seven. No. You want a haymaker from Serena Williams? Your head pop right the fuck off your body. I promise you. She'll knock it thirty feet. <laughs> What'd you say, girl? Eighteen love. <laughs> Eighteen love it. <laughs> no, that's, that's not it. Fifteen love. This is the first one. Yeah, 15, 15, yeah. It's always 30, in fives. Fifteen, thirty. Yeah. I learned it from Wii Sports, so I don't. Yeah. Exactly. No, what? I learned tennis rules from Mario Tennis. Okay. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> uh, it's not giving me a. I granted. learned it better from GTA Five. Oh yeah. Tennis rules are actually pretty simple, oh, yeah, which is another reason I like it. <laughs> no, tennis is, if you want to get fit, tennis is like the best sport. Yeah, I don't know, when it comes yeah. to actual real life sports, yeah. I don't like football because the rules are just, they don't make sense. It like there's too many of them yeah, and they're just made to be sense. ridiculous. <laughs> and it's like there's so many rules as opposed yeah. to tennis, it's like you hit it there, it can't touch the ground more than once. if I really want to like Don't touch questions. the net. <laughs> I would ask that's so many it. questions. Like, like okay. that's all the rules they need. It's a simple game that makes sense. Like, okay, they landed the ball there. Why are they 10th and 15? What's 10th and... Like, there's, like, the terminology yeah. and the rules and the way that the teams work, and they trade people between states 
but you're still supposed to have some sort of support for your state, even though right. 75% of your team comes from other states. Like, I don't... Yeah. The All of football seems know. stupid. And then they treat... Like, like it's all stupid. Bad. And they treat, like, a, the Maybe trade, like, some huge events. Such a football buff, so it yeah. kind of rubbed off on me, because we always watch the football. Anyway, um, oh, you God. guys tell us what sports you're into, if you are into sports. Oh, sure. We're mostly nerds here, so we don't really tell. Oh, shit. I, I'm the uh, person where I watch yeah. the Olympics, but I don't watch the Super Bowl. No, I watch the Olympics like it is the Super Bowl. But yeah, we're coming up on our 50 minutes, so we. Yeah, will I was see just be you. walking around. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So <laughs> this level is a little way. open, and then the game gets a little bit more kind yeah. of like directed. Once you find from the first here. clue, to and we'll you. see. But it's like it gives you a chance time. to wander around. Uh, cookies and cream. Boop, 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 Bye, 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 bye. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please. Also, there's like, you have no jump height in this game. Like, eh. eh. That's all you get. Where's the chief, like. 